Hello, my name is Eduardo and I am here for another tutorial for App Inventor and today, um, remember the last video? Well, we were checking something about how to position and scale sprites in Inkscape, okay? Well, today we will use this information, okay, to make an app. Well, uh, we will create something similar to this, okay? I did this app and it is... Uh, it is quite easy okay so I will show you the finished app well it is not super finished but so I will show you this okay so this is the app you have here an image everything uh, all the screen is just a big canvas okay this is a one sprite okay and this is another sprite sprites sprites so you can drag Okay, you see in this button, you reset uh, the positions, okay, and that's it. Well, it's pretty simple. Okay, for this uh, tutorial, we will use Inkscape, that, it's, uh, that if you don't know, uh, this program it is similar to Photoshop, okay. And we will use Inkscape, of course, okay. So, so let's start with this, okay? So I guess today we will start with the first part that is creating this kind of graphics. And as I told you, we won't uh, make this uh, Wonder Woman again, okay? So we will make something different just to uh, help you, okay? But this is basically the idea. You want to have an app just to drag sprites, okay? And of course, you have the perfect position when you reset this, but it's pretty fun, okay? So how can you change the expression of her face just by moving some of these features? I like it. For example, his. Okay, so are you ready? Hope you like this tutorial. Well, you're not very happy on the woman. Hmm. That's it. Okay, so, well, let's start with the tutorial. Well, the first thing is we have to go to App Inventor and we're going to create a new project. We will call it Drag Canvas Inks Inkscape Inkscape well, you can call it whatever you want. Tuto01. Pretty nice name, right? Okay, well, so don't worry for App Inventor for this. I guess in the first part we will work with GIMP. Okay, so well. And of course with Inkscape. But first, let's go to Google. So let's say that today we will want uh, we want to make something similar to this, but we use Wonder Woman in the previous tutorial. But how about if we use something different? Hmm. Well, we have here some very nice ideas. Okay. Oh, Lex Luthor! I oh, like this guy. Hmm. Very interesting. Both are okay, but let's go with Superman. We copy this image. Then we go to GIMP. I hope I can. I will share the link, okay, if you don't have GIMP. Or you can use Photoshop if you prefer. Or something similar. We're going to paste it like new image. Okay, and then let's start to work. Well, first, this is my... Uh, let's say that this is the original, so let's keep here just a copy. So then we duplicate this one, this is working one, and that's it. And we can protect this one, okay, and that's it. So let's start working. Well, first we need to separate these things, okay, and to feather them. So these are going to be our buttons or sprites, yes. So 
but we try to make something like that okay like rectangles squares something like this because that will help us in its scale for example I want this we selected with this um, square mask uh, tool then we just select ctrl C copy and then we paste ctrl V paste then here to make a new layer and that's it nothing happens yes we have a button yes well we work it we work on it uh, later on then we have the other one we do the same procedure here well if you check here we have this kind of shadow from here but don't worry we can fix that okay we can use ctrl c ctrl v and we paste it and to make a new layer then we can change the name to this is the right, the left eye for us left eye or the right eye depending for superman well this is the right eye and that's it we have two buttons okay then here we have this kind of nose i don't know i haven't played with the nose but maybe we can play with the nose and we can erase this thing well let's go with the mouth here the mouth i guess that's pretty cool here or what if we just let it no that's okay Okay, so we just copy, Control C, Control V. Oh, there is a mistake because we are not in the layer. So select the layer that we are trying to copy. So I just undone this. Control C, Control V. Here, make a new layer, and that's it. We have these things. Okay, now, well, this is just the first part. Here, if you check, we have this. Now we have to fill this space what about the nose I like the nose what if we have also the nose I don't know maybe nose is it's quite overlapping here that's it why this nose selected layer control C V to make a new layer this is the mouth Oops, sorry. Well, that's it. Now we go here and we have to clean this kind of face, okay? So the basic idea for this, it will, we have the backup, okay? So remember, so you mess with this. So this will be just one color. Okay, so let's remove this. So we have separated. We can also make this with the ears if you want, okay, but but so just try to remove the things that we make in sprites. Okay, well you have this. We are going to select here color picker and just select one color. That's it. And in this case you just fill it. For example, you can make it in a new layer just do not uh, destroy these things okay so let's see like the covering face color transparent and here it is and you go to ah, select and you feather the selection a little bit let's say 10 and then we go here to fill okay we are here in the covering face okay and that's it Selection none. It is not very natural. Okay, we'll show you another trick. For example, you can use this. Select the layer. Select a color. Then we go for the brush. Well, we can use here opacity. And then maybe a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. Then we go to layers. That's it. Select this one and we start just giving some little brushes, very soft brushes. 
to further this thing. So it looks like this. If I uh, unhide this, this is the normal face for this, this is what we are doing. Okay, just feathering the lines here. You can use a little bit of uh, here a gash and blur, not too much. And that's it. it. Looks pretty cool. Now, if we unhide these ones, check. They are okay, but they look like squares. So we have to do the same, but we are going to do it with the eraser. Okay. So that's the idea. So for this, pay attention to this. We will go here again to layers, and we will select, for example, this eye. Then on here, we are going to select this area, alpha to selection. So we are selecting this, okay, just this area. And then we can just start like with the eraser, but let's change the opacity of the eraser. Ah, and let's, oh, sorry, go here. Here, here. So just let's feather this thing. Just to make it more natural. Okay, I guess it looks pretty good. Then we go here to the other one, select this one, and do the same. Just feather. Okay, then you have this, check the faces, well face it's okay, if you have some problems with the feathering in these parts, well you just have to blend this thing, I guess the eyes, okay, so maybe you need to color here in this area with this color, so we select the eye here the color is not so here i select the color select none so color 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 from here and i just use the airbrush we go to layers again sorry and we color a little bit here we color over on the coloring that's it. This is just the part. Now we're going to make this like one. This is going to be our background. I'll just, just let some make some arrangements here. We select first this part, and now we don't want to paint here. We just uh, invert the mask. Okay, we pick a very nice color. We select the working one. We pick what about this color? Then we feather. Let's say that 22 it's okay and then remember we inverted the mass okay so we're going to paint over here we're going to fill this part so you select edit fill with the foreground color that we picked select none and that's it it's pretty cool here maybe here not oh, don't worry you can feather a little bit more but maybe you can fix with the brush select none that's it so we have that maybe use we use just the brush 
here just to heal this part and to make it a little bit different. That's it, pretty nice. So, and then we just, you can export this part first, okay? So let's go here and let's export this tutorial canvas superman here we are going to create another one that is for the sprites and let's say that the first one it's in png and it will be the background this is the canvas background export export and done then we go here left eye we do the same okay check export you will just select this okay so you can keep it like that you can uh, copy if you want Control c or copy and then you paste as a new image and then you have just the button okay and then you just um, uh, you just export here in the same uh, folder and then you write uh, this is the left eye right left eye export that's it we close this one we don't need it and then we do the same for the other ones so you just unhide copy paste as a new image and then you just um, export this like right eye right eye export that's it close this one it's not necessary now we go for the mouth okay now this document that we have here we can save it because we can make some very fun things later on okay so what so let's keep a copy okay so let's save it as a superman app so this is just original as uh, in the format is not PNG. So in, um, instead of that, I'm mean using XCF. That is the format of GIMP. Okay, just to save the layers. Well, let's go now to Inkscape. Okay, to finish the first part of the tutorial. So remember to check my previous tutorial about uh, using Canvas and Inkscape. Okay, I will do this very fast. Okay, so that's why. So first thing that we need to create here, it's a pretty nice a square for the screen. Okay, so we're going to use also the layers. Okay, just to keep these things. So well, first, let's create this thing that I was mentioning. So well, first we create the background. This is the canvas style. So maybe we don't need this. Um, that's it let's use a color so it's superman well maybe superman it's quite blue you think i know but it's using yellow well, no, it's not necessarily a color but what well, so this is the the thing that we have to use make sure it's in pixels so let's say that my app will be like portrait or landscape okay so in this case we will use the typical portrait thing okay so we use uh, 720 pixels times 100 280 remember if not please check my previous tutorial okay so now we have this then we go here to uh, properties document properties and then we go here to this section it has like personalized size so you select here this adjust page to content okay so you select here this one and then you just press here 
and then you say adjust page to a drawing or selection so this is my selection and now you have the screen okay now well we close this and then we go here to remember layers we are in layers see this is the background you can keep the, the, this color or any you want okay so now we need to import all the stuff we did okay in game i print sorry i made a mistake uh -huh. i'm sorry because my computer is not very fast well let's go here to import then we go here not wonder woman sorry Path android that was the folder that i used before oh well i forgot i have folders from all my in all my computer okay, all over my computer now papa then go to it was superman or something or tutorial canvas yes tutorial canvas what a name so we import these guys we just have can import this one so first the background yes the defaults and you have here in the background this guy now you resize holding a uh, control okay to avoid distortions but don't worry let's first import on C okay first let's import everything in here import uh, we go for the file yes 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 then we go for import Mouth, yeah, import nose uh -huh. and import right eye. Yeah, look. Well, here we have these things. So the background it will be Superman. I didn't scale this because I want to keep the proportion, so you just make this very fast. You can check the picture of Superman or you can make them like that very fast. Uh, quite the same. Quite the same. Ding, ding, ding. Well, that's it. If you want to see the original, well, you can go to the original here and it's uh, quite the same. Okay? So don't worry. Well, now. We just select all of these things and then just scale holding control. Now try to fit canvas. So what about this? Then we go here. Mm -hmm. okay, that's it. Pretty cool. Let's make it a little bit smaller. That's it. I really like it. Let's say that it will be here. Yeah, and maybe the background, I select this one. Okay, then I select the, the color picker. I select one part of here. And that's it. Just to have it like that. Okay, it's not necessary. Uh, we can have a different color, for example, just to contrast this thing, maybe a little bit of uh, here. Well, this is the final thing. Now, here, this is the background. Background is for this guy. Now, we have to separate these guys, okay, the sprites, so we can create here. The one is the layer for sprites. Okay, and we then we protect this one, but first let's remove these guys, these sprites. We select all of them, we cut, and then we select the sprites, the layer, and then we just paste. Oh, sorry, paste inside. Yes, okay, paste in the place or the side, I don't know. Well, uh, what is the name in, in English, but what well, you have this option, remember. Paste in the side, Control alt b Well then, you have it in the different layer. Now, if I don't hide this, now we need to protect this layer, the background, or we can decorate 
Well, we protect first the sprites, okay? So in that case, I'm not moving by accident the other thing. Just be careful with your uh, drawing, okay? So maybe you can protect this uh, guy, but I think it's not necessary. Okay, well, here. Mm -hmm. Let's go to add some things to make it a little bit better. Well, this is what my app should look okay so far. So you have a button to reset, you have here the sprites, I protect here my background, okay now I cannot move anything from the background. You have here the sprites, these sprites, and I guess I just have to move the other sprites from here. These ones, I select them cut and I select sprites layer and then paste inside and that's it you had your sprites and then you have to export this to Epimen. okay well this is the first part of this uh, tutorial so for that I will give you uh, I will see you the next time okay I know I t it took too much time, but uh, just is to give you the idea about designing this thing in uh, App Inventor. But first, we started using GIMP to create the graphics, the sprites, these sprites. Okay, then we create the background. Okay, yeah, don't pay attention to this. And then we are going to export all of these things. Okay, so. Be ready for the next tutorial. Okay, so I will see you next time. Um, ah, well, before that, just remember we touch two times here and then we go to the corner. We checked this in the previous tutorial. Try to make perfect, yes. Cornering here. All do this for all the sprites for example this one double click then again again and again that's it all the sprites are ready and then we will work uh, we will go with um, Inkscape uh, and App Inventor. I hope um, you follow the next tutorial. Okay, in the next tutorial we will pass these graphics and these sprites to App Inventor. Okay, using the procedures from the previous tutorial. Okay, I hope you like it. Thanks for everything. I'll see you next time.